up guys this is what is trending all right the russian ukraine crisis and the plight of the african student okay so the move by russian president vladimir putin to increase military presence in ukraine has caused all sorts of panic around the world right the stabilizing of oil markets and threatening to increase uh, food prices in africa and asia but the other form of panic that i want to talk about is the disruption of thousands of african students in ukraine you get it african students in ukraine are stranded right so according to ukraine's ministry of education uh, Morocco, Nigeria, and Egypt has the highest number of students studying there. Morocco has 8,000 students, Nigeria has 4,000 students, uh, Egypt has 3,500 students, Ghana has more than 1,000 students studying there. Okay, so Ghana's government yesterday reached out to the students there that they should shelter in place. But how do you shelter in place when you have bombs falling on your head? You get it. Recently, there's a student, a Ghanaian student in Ukraine that said there is a shortage of uh, food and water in Ukraine because people are either buying from the shops or they're grabbing everything. Yep, that is going to increase. Okay, so the Ghana Students Union reached out to Ghana government that, hey, you know what? You should do more than just telling them to shelter in place. Go in there and grab them. Evacuate them because, after all, during the pandemic, that's COVID-19, you were able to go get some people, right? Okay. But there's an MP that recently said that if we had voted for E-Levy, you know, this situation could have been easily solved. Please, sir, do not bring this into the situation. No politics into this. Uh-uh. Please don't do it. Because I'm pretty sure if there was E-Levy, you could be making up excuses. You could. All right? So, we have the resources and the manpower to do this. We have the planes and the soldiers are capable of doing this. UK is not going to do it for us. America is not going to evacuate our people for us. No other country is going to do it but us. We are very capable of doing it, okay? Now, if the MPs say that, hey, you know what, there's no fun for all this, I think the MPs should please slash their salaries so that we can use that to fund this operation because this is an emergency, all right? All right, moving on. Guys, you need to brace yourself because all your prices are about to go up due to the Russia and Ukraine conflict. Okay? As you know, Western countries have imposed sanctions on Russia, intending to weaken its uh, economy and also the military effort. Right? This conflict, even though it's happening in Ukraine, is going to have major impact on other people around the world. All right? For instance, uh, energy bills, petrol and plane tickets are going to go up. You know, Russia is the second biggest exporter of crude oil and also the biggest exporter of natural gas. Okay, Vladimir Putin may weaponize these natural resources from Russia. Thereby, if Europe depends on one country for these resources, attention will have to be diverted to another place, thereby causing some sort of traffic. All right, so food prices are about to go up because Russia and Ukraine are known as Europe's bread basket. Okay, uh, these countries have been producing a, a lot of wheat and other stuff supplying most countries in Africa. Okay, uh, Ukraine supplies a lot of corn to other countries like uh, Egypt and uh, boom, other parts of Northern Africa. Mm -hmm. This is what I think. This effect, if Ghana had taken agriculture really seriously, I think we could be supplying these countries, right? In this crisis but what do i know i'm just a mother fathering actor all right other things that could be impacted will be investments mm -hmm. and cost of living will increase and also cars could be more expensive a lot of stuff is going to change due to this conflict so this is what we are looking at oh my god terrible okay so guys ghana music rights organization gamro they are not doing their job right yeah artists are complaining all right music royalties are payments collected and distributed to some copyright owners as a member of a collection society for the use of their creative works okay in ghana we have kosga that is the copyright society of ghana back in the 1980s but kosga forged up yeah so gamro was granted the approval to manage the rights of music owners in Ghana in 2011, right? But there's been many agitations and allegations of malpractices that has plagued Kosga and his management. It is therefore become necessary for the proper drafting 
of the copyright law and the formation of an interim board to aid in the setting up of a more effective organization. All right? Now, artists are complaining that the entire leadership of Gamro have failed to live up to the expectation. All right? And they are doing little to add to the growth of the Ghana music industry. To echo the words of Stoneboy, he's saying that Gamro needs to put in place personalities who have the skills and credibility to run the affairs of the organization. Right? Just like many other things that we are lacking in Ghana, artists are not getting their royalties, their hard work. Some artists have not received any form of payment for days. Shatowali came out to say that he has received little amounts of money all right, in his whole career and he feels like an insult. So this is something that we can change. Where's the money going? We can do something about it. All right, put the right people in place. Let let us channel where the money is going to come from. Now it's even easier, okay? Because before they used to complain that it was just the TV and radio, it was hard to keep track of it. But now I think with technology improving, we can do more about it. All right, these artists shooting the staff. But another thing I'm thinking of is maybe for acting side, you know, there could be some union or some revenue collection or some royalties for actors too. Basically, filmmakers, all right, people that spend their lives bringing out their creativity to make sure that we have movies and films, and television programs all running around, they could get some form of royalties. I mean, it's done elsewhere, so we can do it. Let's look into it and see what we can do. Before an artist or an actor will grow old and then he's begging for money to do stuff, you know, to continue with life. Uh uh, no. Let's see how we can change all this stuff, all right? Let's set up and change stuff. Come on. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Guys, congratulations to Jackie Pia on her recent graduation. In a recent picture, she's wearing a graduation gown and she's beaming with smiles. This is really cool, all right? She's 38 years old and she's telling you that age does not affect your education. You can still go back. And this is an advice to me because I've been thinking going back to school so I can get that law degree. I want to get a kind of degree in law that will represent artists so they can get their royalties and things that they need to have for doing their job, all right? So alongside her manager, Samira Yakubo, uh, Jackie Pia graduated with uh, a bachelor degree in political science and information studies. This is awesome. Congrats to her. And this is good advice for everybody else. Let's do this. So that means Jack Kepe is going into politics. <laughs> Smart move. Let's move on. All right, guys. So these are the trending stuff. These are the stuff going on around the world. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. Right? And be on the lookout for more trending stuff on our social media. All right? So anything can pop up and we'll give you more information as it's going on. Yeah? As always, stay focused and uh, see you on the flip side. God bless you. Bye-bye.